How's your mate uh, Ryan Gosling or whatever his name is? Ryan Gosling? Ryan Reynolds? That's it, yeah. <laughs> Deadpool? <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's good as gold. When did I speak to him? Um, he still sends the odd text here and there. I'll send a little congratulatory text if the team are doing well or they have, get okay. a few wins on the row or something like that. But he's, uh, we were talking about him today, weren't we? And you, you were genuinely intrigued as to whether he was just a normal bloke or it was a bit yeah. of a show, a bit of a put yeah. on. But no, he's not. He's lovely. He's lovely. I don't think he actually enjoys all the sort of glitz and glamour and fame and that. He just wants That's just nice normality. Hear, That's nice. Fozzie, you know both of them, right? You speak to both of them. Is yeah. there a little bit of a different feeling when one texts you than the other? Uh, yeah, like a little when, bit. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Who's the other one? Like Matthew McConaughey or something? Uh, you're on What's his name? Yeah. Rob McElhenney. Yes, it's so, his surname. Isn't when it? he yeah. messaged you, is it like, oh, no, but when Ryan is like, ooh. Yeah, no, 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 it's different. It's the other way around. Rob's like, Rob is, he's the brains behind it. Rob is, oh, okay. is fully in. Like, don't get me wrong, they're both fully in. But Rob is, you can tell this is his baby. Okay. Genuinely, it's his baby, mm. Rexham is. And Ryan, I think at first, sort of joined along for the ride and it was like yeah I'll help you out and then he's fallen head over heels in for it as well but he is a bit more of a kind of the relaxed one whereas Rob is no we, we want to do something here are they, best, are they best friends? no they're not they didn't even know each other before they before they started the Wrexham thing they, he had never even spoken to him he just sort of reached out and said I'm going to do this crazy thing do you want to be part of it and he was like yeah okay cool oh. wow that's unbelievable yeah, I didn't know that see we're learning stuff yeah. have you been uh, invited to the house at all? Uh, no no unfortunately have I they think, bought a house in Wrexham? Um, apparently Ryan is yeah apparently Ryan's looking to buy right. something um, round the corner yeah a big, big bad boy when you say round the corner do you mean London yeah something I like think that. they bought Wrexham yeah they could do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I think they could yeah. do it. I think he could himself he's selling businesses for billions and all that isn't he yeah. he sold his not his whiskey what was it he's got a he, he sold a mo- I think he sold a gin, gin and mobile phone company That's as well right. mobile like phone half company. a billion or something oh yeah. goodness I think he's a lovely fella. Yeah. How big are Wrexham's ambitions? If they do get promoted, will they be aiming for another promotion straight after, do you think? Yeah, they will. They will. Um I think I think these these two years are doable as well. I think they, they could get promoted this season and they could get promoted again next season because of you know, I'm even when I signed last year in National League, I, I was looking around in the training pitch thinking, Wow, you like you're not National League players, you're professional players, you're proper, you could be you could be cutting it in League One, even the championship. And they've added to that as well, the likes of James McLean, Stephen Fletcher, real proper championship players, Elliot Lee who was there already, Paul Mullen. Um this is this is gonna be a tough game. I think Gillingham drew with Stockport a couple of days ago. So it will be a tough match. Um but it's one that Wrexham will go into wanting to win and if they do get promoted this year next year they're going to want to do the same as well Look, you know, we know them two guys are wealthy who own Wrexham at what point do they get to where their wealth probably isn't enough and then they need to Cha- uh, I think championship up to the Prem I think National League to the championship is is doable in, for a team like that and the way they're going to do it within four or five years yeah, yeah? but getting from the championship up to the Premier League poof that's wow, where, that's, that's, that's going to be big tough. Job, yeah. You look at some of the like you we were just talking about the championship. Then you look at some of them championship teams there that are at the top of the up, top of the league. They are ex Premier League clubs. They've got big budgets, big foundation, big infrastructure. They've been there before. You can't just expect to be part of that. You know, you got Leicester, Leeds, Ipswich, Southampton, West Brom, Hull, massive teams, massive teams. Even, even in League One, you got people like Charlton and Derby, massive yeah. teams. <laughs> yeah. it's not easy. How, how long, last question? How long do you think it'll be till Wrexham are playing Premier League football? Within 10 years. From now? Yeah. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.